Hare Krishna. We may have to fight against others, but we don't have to be against others. When we practice bhakti, we might have an idealistic conception that we will be tolerant, forgiving, gentle, kind. We will not have any confrontation with anyone. And we will live peacefully and joyfully and move towards Krishna. Now certainly, all these are important aspirations within bhakti. At the same time, we are serving Krishna in this world where resources are temporary and where each of us is an irreducible individual. And sometimes there may be people who may be opposed to Krishna and we may have to fight against them. And Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says, Surudam Sarva Bhutanam. He says he is the well-wisher of all living beings, Sarva Bhutana, without exception. And yet Krishna himself says, Vinashaya Chadushkritam. He comes to destroy the miscreants. What does this mean? It means that sometimes this world requires us, to, even Krishna, to fight against some people. Krishna is their well-wisher also, but he has to restrain them. Because they are doing adharma. So similarly, we too may have to fight against some people. Sometimes it may be uh, because our service is being threatened, because our life is being threatened, people may have their prejudices, their biases, and they may attack us or they may attack our service. So we may have to fight. Arjun was put in a situation where he had to fight against the Kauravas. And yet, when Krishna told him how he can attain him in the 11th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, he does tell very clearly that the Kauravas are the enemies who are meant to die, who are ordained to die by, by the will of destiny. And Arjuna is to become an instrument for that. And yet, that same chapter concludes by telling Arjun to fight, or to work without animosity towards anyone. In 11.55 he says, Mat karma krun mat paramo, mat bhaktaha sangha varjitaha, nirvairaha sarva bhuteshu, yaha samam eti pandava, mat karma krun mat paramo. Krishna says, do my work, make me your goal. Mat bhaktaha sangha varjitaha, associate with my, become my devotee and avoid materialistic association. Nirvairaha sarva bhuteshu, and have no animosity towards any living being. And yaha samameti pandava, and if you live like this, then you will attain me. So Krishna is telling here that we don't have to be against anyone. That means we don't see anyone intrinsically as our enemy. It is intrinsically they are souls, we are souls, we are all parts of Krishna, and we are all meant to serve Krishna together. But circumstantially, Sometimes we may be pitted against each other and we fight not against them but for Krishna, for the purpose of Krishna, for the purpose of our service to Krishna. So this principle can apply in our interactions even with those who are not outright demoniac but even those who are devotees. Sometimes they may have certain misconceptions. And they may have different ways of doing things. And we may have to defend our way of doing things. And we have to fight, we may have to fight against them. We, but we don't have to be against them. So if we keep our vision not on them and how we have to push uh, to get them out of the way, but on Krishna and how we want to keep moving towards Krishna, then we can achieve this balance of fighting against them without being inimical, without being against them. Thank you. Hare Krishna.